guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with another Cities Skylines video. Episode 2 of our City in City Skylines 1. Getting ready for City Skylines 2, guys. And I cannot wait. Now, we did last time build a lovely little suburb of Factory Foot. Very, very nice. Indeed. Looking really cool. Not using all the space. Just being lazy and spreading it all out nicely. Which uh, I think looks really nice. So, priorities for today are expanding our industry and educating our people. Unfortunately, at the minute, we just don't have enough workers because we've got no one that's educated at all. We've got full of uneducated people, uh, but not enough educated people over there at all so we're gonna have to get the education going now i'm thinking this tiny little elementary school over here does have the same capacity as this big one and it looks really nice again it fits in very well with the rest of our lovely european suburb thinking closer to the entrance somewhere around in this region here with a nice little space out the back as well and with that we can put another couple of little parks to uh you know boost up the land value in this area in fact if we're doing that we might as well put it in the middle and then put the parks around there as well we first of all need the cash to do so so let's uh, bump that time up bump that time up and we should have the cash in a second now yeah i think on there is fine i don't think that's too bad of a place I don't want it in the commercial zone. It looks good. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go in this little area here. I'm sorry, houses, but you're gonna have to go. <laughs> and I would like a nice little ballpark or something in here, just to uh, help out with the land value around here. Get it boosted up a little bit. Uh, what do we have available to us? Birthday Plaza. I don't think so. We do have this nice little tennis court though. And we have a basketball court. Let's go with the tennis court. I think that fits in the area a bit better. So if we just build that. Now this is where you need move it mod. <laughs> to make it look better. Uh, than it already is. But I don't think. You know we are going for higgledy piggledy in this, uh, this region aren't we. We're not going for completely straight lines. And that again fits in perfectly with it. Karl Heisenberg school. So, yeah, it fits in perfectly with this little area. With the tennis court next to the school. I know it's only an elementary school, but they can use that for their playtime and stuff. And they've got all this field out the back as well. We've got a lot of buildings burning down over here because we don't have coverage, really. Uh, but that's fine. I I'm not too bothered uh, about them burning <laughs> down. <laughs> don't quote me on that, guys. Don't quote me on that. And secondly, we need to sort out our power issues. So... Let's pump that up to about 115, I reckon. Well, 115, 116 is fine. And let's see whether that solves those issues. Just about. Just about. What I really would like to be able to do is get the advanced wind turbine. Because as you can see, the sea is a very nice little region for that. In fact, up here, the wind turbines would fit in very nicely. All the way over here, though, is a perfect little spot. The problem is that with the wind being up and down all the time, you can never really tell whether you're going to get good power or not. So we might just have to go with the dirty option of coal power once again. I really don't want to go for that, though. What else? Yeah, we've got a long way before we can get any of the other stuff. I think, you know, a wind turbine on this side would not be the end of the world. It's not going to produce a huge amount of power actually get two in there right now if we can get a third one a nice three wind turbines this nice little area of farmland is going to be you know a nice um eco-friendly area we might even get some eco-friendly shops in there as well and all that sort of thing uh, to help us go so let's get that one in there and then let's reduce our budget back down to a hundred percent and we should be good to go hopefully the wind isn't too too wobbly and i think they look fantastic don't they We've got our industry in the background let's just ignore that that's there oh look at the lovely fields and the uh, the castle 
over there <laughs> in the background rather than <laughs> the horrible industry over this way. Um, so we have got a lot of residential and a lot of um, medium demand for this. But I think at this point, we should probably look at upgrading these roads. Upgrading them into the proper roads, getting the proper junctions on there so that we know what to do. But to do that, to start with, we're going to have to save a bit of money. Now, I do want a high school. Um, I mean, none of these will fit in. Unlike some of the other things that we've been building. Uh, we've got the Institute of Creative Arts. We've got the community school again. I mean, the Institute of Creative Arts out of all these places, you know, is probably... Is that going to... It's not going to fit in, is it? I mean, we could if we wanted to. Like, this little high school here. It's quite big. When I say little, it's, it's pretty big. <laughs> could get it in into this commercial zone. I don't think it would, you know, be remiss in this commercial zone. What we should also probably do is get a bit of parking uh, in the commercial zone. So that people can park if they want to and start walking. Um, it should be closer to the entrance, really. So I might get a little bit of a car park down in this region. Three little car parks there. And that should help everyone get a bit of parking. Also removes the bad view from the back of these houses as well. <laughs> so we want to get some trees in there, actually, at some point. Get some nice little trees. Um, how much are you going to cost me? trees. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's just get a few in here. Fill the gap. So it doesn't look so... There we are. That's it. That's what we like to see. A few trees in there. Very nice indeed. And hopefully, at this point, we shouldn't get too many complaints about customers. Uh, so a couple of people have parked. When I say a couple... One person has parked. <laughs> does look like people are walking in there, though. It just doesn't look like the sprites are maybe loading in. Ah, there we are. We've got a, another car. Nice. A nice uh, flowery car as well. Oh, it's glorious, isn't it? What a lovely little area. Really nice indeed. Now, how are we doing over here? Not enough buyers for products. Yep. That makes sense. We haven't built any of the... Uh, storage units for this place at all. I don't tend to like to build too many of these. Basically because they just create masses of traffic. So let's put a couple in there. They are very cheap. They're only uh, 6,000. And that should allow, if they can't export the crops, they can go and stick it in there. Um, and it is on balanced. I think for now... Yeah, we'll leave it unbalanced for now, and then when it gets to the point where they're filling up, we'll stick it on empty. So this should allow this one, for example, to uh, be able to export some crops. How close are we to level 2? We're exporting about 40 tons every now and then, which is pretty good. We just need some extra workers. And we have a few educated people in the city now, so hopefully um, they'll start filling up those roles. As you can see, loads of people coming in. The, via this way. That's why we want to get this bit of an area done. Bit of a junction done. Uh, and upgrade our roads as well. Because these cars do go very, very slow <laughs> on these sorts of roads. How much is that going to cost us though? Do we even have access to the highway? We absolutely do not. Great. Well, we're going to have to leave it for now then, aren't we? We need a few more people. 2,800 before we can get access to the highway. Honestly, I like the gravel roads in the farming area. I think that's fine. Slows all the traffic down anyway. Uh, but yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, right. Well, what is this? That's a small four-lane industry road. That's probably perfect for this entrance into the area. So let's get that on there now. And we're going to come through the front of the area with it. And we'll probably come all the way down into the industry area. And we'll upgrade this whole area of road. So let's get uh, all of that upgraded. There we are. That should help with the traffic quite a bit in this area. Although sometimes, you know, when you upgrade a road, they move faster. So it kind of generates a bit more traffic. And they, 
They start being stupid with their lane movement and how they use lanes. Uh, but that should be okay, at least. So, let's get that deleted. Uh, we can't build the highway connection just yet because we don't have the road for it. But it's there for when we do. We'll bring the highway connection in and off this nice little row. Nice. Good. Well, I'm happy with this so far. Uh, as you can see, the crops are getting full. They should get exported a little bit now as well, which is great. Um, and we can't build any sort of cargo stuff just yet. So, yeah. Um, now, in terms of of our education can we now build the high school we can i mean it's a big bastard this building isn't it it is a big boy let's just go there though i think that's going to be fine it might drag a bit of traffic through this area but i'm not too worried about that and while we're there let's get our connections with our uh, our sort of paths we've got the standard pavement path i think in this region we kind of want the gravel the gravel nature reserve paths or the zoo path. I think we'll go with the nature reserve. We'll go with the uh, the decorations on it as well. Let's go into free form. Let's click all the snapping off because I want to try and fit it. Yeah, if we can fit it through here and have some nice little wavy paths. So that unfortunately is going to destroy one building. That's okay. Oh, fantastic. We've now reached level two. So we've got the flour mill, the bakery, farm workers barracks, cattle shed, and small barn. Fantastic. That's what we like to see, isn't it? Fantastic. Very nice. So unfortunately, we're going to build, we're going to destroy another building there. But that's fine. That's added a bit of a connection in this way. And let's, uh, unfortunately, that's going to destroy this one. Can we fit in there? No, we can't. So, let's delete that, and let's go through this way. I don't want to delete, destroy too many buildings, and we'll uh, connect down this way as well. Well, if we're going to delete a building, I'd rather just delete one than anything else. So, let's delete that, and let's just uh, delete just the edge of that building. So there we are. We've connected that up. Now about this side. Let's connect them through here. There we are. And one final one coming through. Just straight through. And go there. Straight through. Now we've connected up all this little area. In fact, last but not least, let's just get a nice little connection into the corner there. And over this way, let's get a nice little wavy connection coming out through this area. We can get it in. That's a bit of a tight corner, isn't it? Doesn't like it. It doesn't like it. Does not like it. There we are. Perfect. I mean, that's horrible. But who's to say that a path wouldn't do that? Because it probably would in real life. <laughs> so for now, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. It looks fine. And I'm glad we've managed to upgrade this little area as well. Now, we have reached our sort of capacity with houses so we do need to start expanding this region uh, with our houses and I want to go around the factory so I think rather than connecting in to the roads to start with let's stick all the snapping back on um, I think we kind of build around the factory to start with like a, a nice little road that goes around this factory because imagine in real life, if this was real life and, and this sort of a nice little suburb sprung up in the countryside, this factory is going to get made into flats. And I know it doesn't look like <laughs> it's quite flats just yet, but that's the idea we're going for. That this nice, this old factory is going to get converted into some lovely, lovely luxury or sort of, you know, nice flats. For people to live in. So we've got a nice little circle around there. And I wonder whether we kind of mirror that. Around this side. If we come off here. Do this. It is always weird using the, these roads. Because they are so small. And yeah. Let's come all the way around. I think that's cool. I think that's really cool. A nice little spiral like a snail. <laughs> the snail zone. Um, but yeah. I think that's looking good. And then we can decide what we want to do filling out these regions when we've got this these bits unlocked. At the minute, 
kind of a bit weird just to fill in that little section. So let's come again out this way. And we're unfortunately going to have to pause because I'm going to have to delete that. And let's uh, come straight into that road there. Now, they're going to come up this way. They can go choose to go around that way. Or they can go around the left as well. So, let's have a look whether we can connect in this way as well. Because that's going to be a lot of traffic coming around this way. So, let's just get a nice straight road going there. So, that connects that way. And I'm thinking... Potentially, we have a little meandering road coming up this way, all the way up, and, I mean, that's terrible, so let's ignore that that ever happened, <laughs> and let's, uh, let's get that smashed in there. Nice little road. I think, ideally, honestly, we want to connect it from this side, straight onto there. I mean, that looks better, doesn't it? That looks a lot better. Apart from that little kink there. This is where mods really do come into their own. When you've got road anxiety, guys. <laughs> mods really do help because that's just not quite smooth enough. Uh, but <laughs> it's fine. I'm not going to be annoyed too much. I'll try not to be. Uh, but yeah, this is a lovely little area. Lovely. Love that design. Really cool indeed. So, let's get that smashed in with residential. I'm kind of considering doing everything over here. While we're here as well, let's get these pylons around. It's a bit of a mess with the pylons, isn't it? So, let's actually delete those. And let's come straight out. Thing is, as well, these guys, if they want to get to the shops... All they have to do, just drive down here, drive there. They're quite close to the shops. You can also walk this way. So let's see whether that works, whether they start getting in. And while we're seeing whether it works, let's get some nice little paths going through here as well before we start demolishing all the houses like we did last time. <laughs> Always fun to demolish the houses, but yeah. Be nice to get a few paths in here, won't it? We can try and sneak through that gap. That'd be fantastic. Oh, we can. Glorious. Let's go straight through there. We've got this area here. Let's get a nice little path coming around. Straight up. Nice circular path there. We don't need any more in the circle there, do we? And of course I forgot to do <laughs> this. Uh, I mean, that's a terrible little pipe there, but whatever. Stick that in. This is awful pipage. I mean, there's so many jokes that could have been said there, but we're going to ignore them all, aren't we? <laughs> right. Um, what's happened to you? Why have you lost your power? That should help with the water now. Yeah, water's gone back to being more available. Sewage is fine. Now, uh, if we have a look at our garbage, though, we are absolutely struggling with that. So, this is 16,000. I mean, it's expensive, isn't it? But let's stick another one in. I mean, it's, it's not enough processing. But, you know, what else can we do? What else can we do? Let's stick another one of these on there as well. We've just spent a lot of money on that. So hopefully that's going to be okay. Now, for the guys around the tower, what I'm thinking is a nice little commercial zone just off the back of it. Um, if we can uh, come this way. So I'm thinking a nice little commercial zone that fits in quite nicely with the current theme that we've got going on of, of curved roads. I think these look really cool. Tell me if I'm just being stupid, guys, down below and they don't look cool at all. But to me, they look pretty cool. I love this little shape as well. And while we're here, let's get that connected up, of course. Always connected up with the paths so that they don't need to uh, mess around driving or anything silly like that. They can walk wherever they want to. Um, and how many people are actually using these? A couple. Not too many. 
Is anyone cycling on these? Because I'm not sure whether you can cycle on them or whether you can only walk. Because you can cycle on the, the paved one. So they can actually cycle on this one. Oh, there is someone cycling. Good, 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 good. Glorious. That's what we want to see. So let's uh, dabble in a bit of the old um, commercial zone. Get it in that space there. And probably get it in behind here as well. Nice little commercial zone out by the old factory. I mean, Old Factory Foot or something like that. It's a, a good name. But whatever you want to call it, guys, do let me know. We're up to level 2 on Castle Farms, of course. Now, we need more education, like I said. I don't want all my people to be educated. I want some un uneducated people in the city uh, to man those jobs. Uh, but look at the, uh, the vast swath of people coming down the road now. And that's the next thing that we want to do. There we are. Boom Town. We've unlocked a new area. We've got public transport. Fantastic. Taxi, airport areas, ferry tours, walking tours, and bus. Ore industry specialization. We can now get new policies as well. We've now got new roads. Highways. That's the main thing for us. Getting the highways in there. And we've got trams. All that sort of thing. A load more roads. Water pipe with heating, we're not going to be doing that. That's fine. We've got the toll booth that we want to get in there. Cemetery, elder care, child health care, advanced wind turbine, bus depot, taxi depot, loads of stuff. Loads and loads and loads of stuff. Fish factories as well. And a wave power plant. I've actually not used that one before. Where be the wave power plant? Where are you, wave power plant? Maybe we don't have access to it. Oh, here we are. I mean, that's kind of cool. I like that. That might be our next option for power because how much does that cost? 14,000 and it makes 20 megawatts in the good areas. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Ah, did we forget about water again? Sorry, guys. And, oh, dear, this water grid is horrendous. <laughs> but, oh, well, no one can see it apart from when I press on that. That's going to really hurt some of you guys, isn't it? Seeing it like that. But, anyway, let's have a look. How much are these toll booths going to cost us? We've got the small two-way toll booth. 12,000. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind that at all. So let's get that in there. If we can get it lined up perfectly, that would be good. There we are. Straight in there. We do need power for that. So we've got to remember that one as well. Let's get all these back there. Uh, we potentially want to get rid of that. And let's curve this road round slightly. So it's got a bit of a 90 degree. One issue there might be is cars coming in might... Um, yeah, might might back up slightly, but I guess we'll uh, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Looking good. Looking good. Nice little area. Oh, and we've just suddenly gone low on power once again. Now, do we risk it with these wave power things? I think they're quite cool, and they already go straight into there. Let's get two of those. How much do they cost to operate? 160. That's a bargain. How much are these? They make, you know, 8 megawatts in cost. So they are a bit cheaper than wind turbines, I guess. So is the advanced wind turbine. But I'm guessing these don't have such big differences in power output compared to the uh, wind turbines that are really spotty. Oh, look at this area. It is coming together, isn't it? It is coming together. What I'm thinking is we can do a nice little community park. In here, if we can build a park. I'm thinking, you know, a standard little nature reserve park. Something like that to fit into that area. I don't think we've got anything. Yeah, we need to create the park area. And we can actually create a park straight away. That'll really help with the land value. As we can see, a couple of these houses have upgraded. Let's have a look at the upgraded versions. I mean, it looks pretty much just the same. 
don't think they're that different, honestly. So let's have a look. Does it change? Speed that up. It did change. This one did actually change. Now we've got a bit of a driveway looking a bit more advanced. So fair enough, they do actually change. Nice. Good. Right then. Let's get this junction sorted. Now, yeah, that's not the greatest angle we could have ever gone for. But I'm considering just having an exit on this one back into the city. No, that would be stupid. I'm thinking we just have one entrance which is coming this way. So, let's go that. I am notoriously bad at motorway junctions, guys. So, shield your eyes now if you are easily upset by motorway gore. So, <laughs> because this is going to be gory, especially on vanilla. I mean, that's not too bad, you know. For me, that is okay. That is, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Don't want to get rid of that rock, but unfortunately we have to. I think that's a nice little curve there. And let's go here. And do we go for an overhead pass? I mean, I think so. Let's have a look at that. I mean, apart from that little kink there, it's not horrendous, is it? It's, it's genuinely not horrendous. Which, for me, is good, guys. For me, is fantastic. So, we've got a nice little farming area over here. Are these full up? They probably are very full. Yep, they're very, very full. We've got our entrance. We've got our toll road over here. Um, so, yeah, let's just put a little toll district in this place here. And we'll do the... We'll call this, uh, we'll call this farm toll one. Very, very uh, interesting name, guys, of course. Uh, and I don't think we can get the toll. I think it's in city planning. But yeah, for now, that's fine. That's fine. We'll get that in there when we get access to it. So, we need a lot more industry. But we also need a lot more education, I would say. No, we're fine, actually. We're good for education. They do want a university at some point, but that point isn't going to be now. And I just love the look of Factory Foot, don't you? It just looks so natural and sprawling rather than just grids. I really do like the look of that. Really cool. But we do need to upgrade these roads now. So let's get that done. I'm going to pause it because we're going to have to be quite careful. Um, I'm wondering whether we just go for a two-lane highway down here, but no. Let's go whole hog straight in there, straight all the way down. I'm going to stop there for now. And, uh, yeah. We also need to delete that. That needs to get changed to the industrial road. So... Yes. So what did we want to do here? Give me a second, guys. I'm going to leave the game running and plan a little bit. So I've decided that we're going to just do a simple junction for now. Now, that water tower might be in the way slightly, uh, but it, it'll be fine. We're just going to do a simple junction like this. And we are also going to do something slightly different as well. We're going to get this road here. We're going to come straight down. We're going to come parallel to the highway. And we're going to come straight into that little bit there. Now, what we're going to do with this road is we are going to make it HGV only. Uh, and, of course, you know, um, all these sorts of things. And we're going to actually connect up on this side a bit of a road as well. This one's going to be HGV only. So, if they want to go to this shopping area, they can come down here down there, get in there. Now, if they want to go out the city, they wouldn't go this way because it's such a longer way around. Same thing for this way. So they can just go across here and onto the highway. If they want to go up to the farm, they can come up this way. If they want to go the more efficient way out of the farm or into the farm, they can come through the toll booth. So I think that's quite a good little solution to what we've got going there. Now, I'm going to just bring a meandering road 
through this way that comes into the back there. That's a bit better than joining this side with all those junctions. I think coming there this way and then getting out there will be fine. Now, if we go onto this road here, if we can uh, get on the road. Can I find that road name? No, not that. Definitely not that. In fact, it doesn't need to be a two-lane road, does it? Let's just go with a uh, one of those. Now, can I select this road, please? Here we are. Let's just check it's not. Yeah. It's a Reed Street. So let's adjust this road. And let's make sure we can have pedestrians and cyclists. I'm not... I'm happy with that. Public transport and cargo. Yeah, and trucks and cities. So we just don't want private vehicles on that road there. Nice. Good. So that should be quite a nice little option for our trucks. Let's get off this road adjuster then now so they should we should start seeing them coming down here now i've kind of forced them all to go this way out for now but that's fine um we've just got to probably move okay let's move that water tower up to there let's delete these darn cables let's get rid of those and let's just do our simple highway entrance across here it's not fantastic but for now, I think with the amount of traffic we have... Is that, yeah, there we are. That's 90. This will be fine. Don't want such a severe entrance. So... Let's do... You can see, I, I'm, I'm just terrible at, at motorway junctions, guys. Everything else is fine. Motorway junctions is, is horrible for me. It's just horrible. I'm just so bad at them. We will sort that out eventually. I mean, that that hurts even me to look at. But for now, that's going to be fine. I don't think it's going to be too much of a worry. Um, and that will allow all the private vehicles to come up this way. If they really want to go all the way through that way, they can do. Ah, we've not got any death care. I had forgotten about that. So let's get a nice scenic um, graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere and i'm thinking in this little gap here quite nice viewing out over the sea and the rocks and yeah we'll have to upgrade all these roads at some point but for now we're all good we've not got too many dead people and we do still have a huge industrial demand you can see the amount of trucks is that that is a uh that's a private vehicle. I'm sure I said no private vehicles. City service vehicle. Oh, no, that's showing the transport routes. Ah, no, that's just showing the routes. We can't actually remove them. That's quite annoying. That's the problem with not playing mod it. <laughs> but, I mean, it's fine. You can see all the private vehicles coming up this way how about this way around as well got a few private vehicles coming this way ultimately though at the minute i think that's fine it is going to push a lot of traffic through here so at some point we're going to want to basically straighten this out so it just goes straight through to there but for now we don't have enough people for that to be a problem traffic isn't an issue and we're going to get sorted on some lovely public transport at some point we are also going to sort this out at some point probably stick in a large roundabout in here and have a nice road coming off up that way but for now i think we're okay i think we're okay we don't really need to adjust that and again yeah it looks quite a um quite busy now in terms of reducing traffic on there we can put another toll road so we could do that if we wanted to. But now we've got industrial demand. Let's see, do we have any meat? We have small animal pastures. Good. That's what I like to see. So let's get uh, the gravel road again. Now, the small animal pastures don't need to be anywhere in the fertile, fertile area, should I say. So what I'm thinking is, if we bring out this road through here, we can have them on the other side of the pylons which will be good uh, so let's get them over here 
And let's have a little nice animal area over here where we... Yeah, we need to get it in the industrial area to start with. Let's just plug this whole area. It's not going to be this big in the end. <laughs> but it's nice and sprawling. I like the sprawling feel. I don't like to have everything so compact and mushed together. How much is this? 7,500. We should have it in a second. Let's get that. And ideally, I would like a few more of those so that we can start making animal uh, products and getting a bit more money uh, from our area. Let's build that in. Good. Good. And reducing some of our industrial demand eventually. Now... There's a couple of ways we can go about expanding here. We can just come down this way and again, go across. Um, unfortunately, industrial does tend to build up a lot and a lot of traffic. And that's always been the issue with industrial. Well, let's speed this up so we've got a bit of extra cash. I only need 1,500. And let's stick that in there. Let's fill this space so that we can, you know, account for the, uh, the industrial over here as well. Let's fill all this whole area. Get it on the outside as well. That's going to really hamper our power, but we're doing quite well on power. Water and sewage, we might need to have a look at it in a little bit, but for now we're actually okay. So let's get this down here. We're actually going to go the roads this time. Oh, that's, that's not good, is it? That's horrible. Alright, we'll sort that out at some point. Not right now, we don't need to. Uh, but let's build another small animal pasture. And let's just keep... We'll keep building them along here while we can. What have we got? We got little sheepsies. We got little sheepsies. And I like the Highland cows, personally. And the piggies. The Highland cows and the piggies. Yes, the piggies. Let's go. Uh, but that should... Uh, that should get filled up quite soon with uh, a freight truck from here. But they're actually all in use. I'm assuming... They're all exporting right now, and they have to go quite far. Can't even see how far they have to go to export all the way down there or all the way down that way. We can actually buy another square right now. Now, probably the best one for us is going to be this one because we're going to expand out this nice suburbia all the way drifting down here. And I kind of want a nice little pedestrian slash commercial zone out on this sand over here. I think that'll be really cool. Facing what's gonna be, like we said, downtown. All this area up here, if we have enough tiles, that is. Of course, we might not have enough tiles on vanilla. I don't know. I can't remember the exact amount of tiles you get uh, access to. But, uh, isn't it just nine? This is how long I've not played, I've played on vanilla <laughs> since I've played on vanilla, guys. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, water treatment and sewage treatment is really problematic right now. So let's get another inland sewage treatment pl uh, plant. And it's actually connected up straight away. And I would like to get a large water tower, but 17,000 population. i tell you what I do like, though. I like having water towers in the farming area. Because I think it fits quite nicely. So let's stick a couple in there. I think they just look right if they weren't stuck in the ground like that. But I think they do just look... They kind of fit in. I mean, actually, if they were up there, that would be quite good. Along this road, maybe. But they are... You know, it's sort of the entrance to the farming area. Farming areas are normally not really reg uh, regimented and regulated. I mean, I guess in America, some places, um, they are... But, you know, in, in sort of UK, France, it's a higgledy-piggledy mess of uh, farmland and what's happening. You know, it's not really uh, sort of regimented in squares just because of the terrain. In places where, of course, it's very flat, I guess you can uh, do that. But, you know, some of these places that are a bit more, a uh, bit different with the terrain definitely can't. Fortunately, they've not got enough crops now. They should be getting deliveries. Come on, deliver. There we are. That's better. That's better. So how are we doing in terms of the cash we're making? About 2,000, which is really nice. This is the power of industry. And, uh, yeah, look at that. That is glorious, isn't it? That's a beautiful, beautiful view. Let's get a screenshot for the thumbnail, boys. 
Nice! Nice, 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 nice. We also can get a screenshot over here in case we want to use this as our thumbnail. Let's go for that. Oh, lovely! Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely superb! Yes! Oh, I am just loving, loving this little uh, hamlet of a town right now. We've got Factory Foot, uh, or whatever you guys are going to call it. We've got our industrial area up here. You can see it's busy, busy, busy with cars now. They're coming, it looks like a lot of them are coming through here. And just going directly down into that area. So we are getting traffic for the industrial zone through this way. At the minute, it's not backed up though, which is quite nice. Um, and I think at this point, this industrial zone is about as large as I really want to make it. Without forcing a lot of traffic management situations in there. I really don't want to have to worry about, you know, a lot of traffic management for our industrial zones. So, yeah, I, I'm kind of happy with the size of that right now. But we have a huge residential demand. But I think that's what we're going to sort out next time, guys. We're going to build a new tile. We're going to finish out Factory Foot. And ink. If, if we really look at this space, honestly, we could fill out this whole sort of area down here as well with houses. So it's a big sprawling suburb. I'm going to build a park in there and we're going to keep upgrading you know our parks our education all that sort of thing we're starting to make a bit of a cash so we can kind of afford a few extra luxuries well anyway guys if you have enjoyed please do like please do subscribe it really does help the channel out and i will see you all again on the next video